Can you extend letrozole treatment? What happens when you give 5 mg of letrozole and there is no ovulation, which is letrozole resistant PCOS? And in the study of 69 women who were resistant to letrozole treatment of 5 days at 5 mg, and a two step regime was done. One, a 7 day regime of 5 mg, another, a 10 day regime if the 7 day regime did not work. That means you look at the pregnancy rate, 64 per, uh, women got achieved uh, ovulation and that's almost 80 to 90 percent and about 24 percent had a live birth rate which again is one in four that's a pretty good result if you see so if you review what they did and what they suggested that if there's no ovulation with five milligram for five days in the next treatment you can either give it at 5 milligram for 7 days, if that fails, then for 10 days. And in a large number of women, you will see successful ovulation. Every time a woman ovulates, it's reckoned the success rate should be between 10 and 12%. Now, why does it occur? And I think if you look at letrozole, it, by lowering estrogen level, it gives the pituitary a chance to have an increase of FSH. The higher the dose, the pituitary releases more FSH, and that's a much heavier force. And that's how it seems to be successful. It's something worth trying out before you move to inj injectable FSH injections.